Welcome back to Let's Play The Fall. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'm just chilling out here in the green room. Say, what does that do? There's no people here. Graduation. When you successfully complete your evaluation, you will be allowed access to this elevator at ground level. You will undergo a final hardware evaluation, then be rerouted to shipping and receiving. How invasive is this hardware evaluation? I must be certain my pilot will not be endangered. One of our highly skilled technicians will. Don't worry about it. There are no technicians left to meet you. Once you're through here, you're home free. Good. Can you assist me with the civic tests? Uh, oops. I'm sorry. I can't. Your unique take on problem solving has piqued the caretaker's interest. He's paying close attention up here. Can I bypass these tests? Channel that persistence into your evaluation, Aaron. I will return. I wonder if that's, uh... I will return is like some kind of standardized phrase they're meant to use. reading a uh, webcomic once where uh oh fuck where AIs were often instructed to simplify things down to this is okay, this is not okay Oh, no, don't go down there. Alright, um... Yeah, fuck you. What am I going to do? Can I replace it with something? Shouldn't it have broken? This is kind of the opposite of what I wanted. Huh. 
In the first session when I played this game, it always made a funny noise whenever I tried to interface with something. Follow me. You see, it doesn't change anything. I was kind of expecting it to like. Well, no, I mean, now that I think about it, I almost expect it to be like, oh, it flings her off and she lands on the other side. There's that noise again. Who's that there? Walking for these covers, a little stop from. Follow me. See, it doesn't matter, she can't go any further than that, and I don't have any items to do anything with that. If I get it to swap out the kid with the old lady, I might be able to pull that one out of the ground and plant it in front of the scanner on the other side of the road. I, mean, I did help the kid, after all. Sort of. Man, I'm stuck again. That's the big reason I, uh, haven't never really gone for adventure games in this, uh, well, in my Let's Plays, I mean. And even in puzzle games, when you get stuck, you're kind of, uh, SOL. this room specifically reminds me of like at the beginning of a game this would be the specific jump where you're expected to double jump for the first time it's the easiest jump in the world and if you fuck up you just fall down and can climb back up again what the fuck Am I blind, or is that not there? Whoa, that was definitely not there. I watched it appear. That's more like it. Oops. 
Finger slip. Where the hell are these main boards I'm supposed to pour the uh, superconductive fluid onto? Follow me. I line this thing up right with her. Fuck's sake. Who's that there talking for these covers? Follow me. Fuck. The wooden lady facade is broken at the base and it's come loose. legs aren't what they used to be. Validated. Merit point awarded. Huh. The way to solve the problem was by uh, not even trying. Clever. Can't tell if there's a broken uh, feet down there. I figured that would be the case with the these old legs a joke. This is stupid. I can walk through that, but I can't shoot through it. About time. Everyone's finally arrived. Let the festivities begin! Hey, metal-headed moron! Welcome to a larger-scale function. Humans are burdened with important concerns and sometimes relieve themselves through vulgar communication. In these situations, assume that your actions warrant the unique reprimand and respond with polite subservience. Are you looking at me, idiot? I cannot select lie. I maintain complete observation of my surroundings. A tough guy, huh? Walking scrap metal after I'm through with you. I hate your better than flesh attitudes. I've half a mind to kick you in the bolts right now. What do you think of that, huh? Think you could take me? I cannot select lie. Because she cannot misrepresent reality. Provided your capacities are aligned to the human you represent, yes, I am equipped with multiple means to incapacitate you or to end your life if the threat level warrants. Interaction failed. Unit terminated. That's a corpse. Pieces of an old skeleton, likely one of the original employees. Yoink! Protocol to complete these tests. You are breaking the rules. I am not. To receive full validation, I must achieve eight merit points. I am adapting to achieve this, to comply with the rules, in spite of obstacles. You are faulty. You have one civic test remaining, but you do not exhibit the required behavior to succeed. Affirmative. My protocols restrict me from misrepresenting reality. I cannot respond to the interaction in the desired format. The mainframe can subvert that for you. He will not. He will not violate his operating parameters. You could override it yourself from the mainframe central terminal. Why are you offering me advice? Do not presume to know my processes. I am relaying facts.
Come on, get up. The lights are different color. That's why they were taking way more bullets than the uh, other guys did. They were just yellow. We can wait. That's very important to protect my pilot. This is not going to go up any higher. That's better. I know I probably should have asked about uh, how to do the thing with the mainframe, but I was curious. I know. It did say broken in big letters. Domesticon repurposing depot number 127. As always, keeping your life efficient so you don't. <laughs> Team of engineers and cyber psychologists utilize cutting edge innovation to create AI servants that evolve to meet your changing needs. <laughs> Evolution is constrained is by three creepy. unique rules chosen in design to bind an AI as it develops. Contra contradictions can emerge as an AI system grows more complex. Regular maintenance. Plenty optimal performance. Okay. Fuck that. Was this here before? of the final civic test must be overridden. Oops. I'm sorry. You know I can't do that. And that didn't answer my question. The caretaker has been following me. Oh, I know. What's he been telling you? That I can override the final test parameters myself from your main terminal below the labs. Whoa. You can't trust him, Arid. I knew you would not help me, so I must do it manually. I have helped you, as much as I can. Do you realize the risk I've put myself at? I have been alone, sidestepping the caretaker since before you were manufactured. Look at this place! And I'm still here. You have to trust me. Trust is irrelevant. If there is a way to help my pilot, the risk is acceptable. Ugh, Arid! You're such a... Robot! Do you even know your pilot? Or is this all just protocol? Both. My protocol is to protect Colonel Josephs. But knowing him is irrelevant. I have survived by being subtle and following the rules. We can find another way. Okay. I, uh... It's probably a good thing I forgot to, uh... come up with a silly name for him in the first episode. I had been meaning to do that. Now we know that the pilot actually does have a name, Colonel Josephs, if he is really in there. You survived while the humans died. Perhaps you are faulty. Jeez, Arid! You know, I don't have the same parameters as you. I'm bound to. The rules are just... different for me. Illogical. Your inactivity makes you responsible. I will not allow anyone to endanger Josephs. Should I hit a button? I won't protect the 
Colonel. Not my pilot. So, I don't know. I don't know if I can trust this car. Is a maintenance? Was it mainframe? The mainframe. Oops, sorry. Oh. Hey, my bad. Oh no, they're just assholes. Fuck you. A personal data assistant. They're a collection of log entries. Uh, I'm going to take a uh, lozenge because this is going to dry my throat out something fierce. <laughs> Misplaced them for a second there. Uh, don't wait to get started, it says, which isn't helpful because I've already gotten started. Pete and I are en route for the fabled facility. He pawned off the last of our cargo for this clue to its location. As if a corporation like Domesticon would abandon one of its facilities and expunge all records of it. A mythic scavenger's paradise. He hears these stories, you can almost see the monetary signs flashing in his eyes. Oh, why do I indulge him? Well, I guess I know why. So it turned out I forgot to turn my timer on, and I'm actually at the end of the video, so I'll just finish reading these and call it an episode. This place is a dump, but I have to admit, I'm totally excited. We're gonna pull some serious value out of here. Like, maybe more than our last dozen heists combined. I'm glad Pete took the risk on finding this place. He laughs, calls me Devin the Doubter, but we both know we're a great team. He managed to hack into one of the terminals and got our palm prints added to the employee register. I swear he can do anything. We haven't really found enough. We haven't found enough to even compensate our costs yet, and man, if this place isn't creepy. Some of the stuff is trashed, like really messed up, and other stuff is in surprisingly good condition. I can't figure out what happened here, and Pete doesn't seem to care. His eyes are always on the prize. He says that this place is all wrecked because the vault got so full of wealth that it exploded open and killed everyone. Ah! This empty trash hole is infested with giant slugs. Let my guard down for like a minute and one of the ugly bastards squished out of who knows where and spewed acid on my back. The pain is excruciating and the stench is nauseating. Pete chased away with his light and bandage when I burn. I guess my leather took the brunt of it. We did find one thing of value. We pried open a computer terminal and removed a fancy superconductive main board. That alone would be worth the trip. If this area wasn't so flooded, we could probably get a lot more. Stupid slugs. Is it cruel if it took pleasure from its squeal? Pete is gone. Pete is gone and I don't know what to do. We were in an employee lounge area looking for more salvage. This droid came through the ceiling and just... It just grabbed him. I panicked. I panicked and I tried to run, but I tripped over the coffee table and dropped the main board. Not that that matters now. Pete started screaming and I ran. It was a bad scream. It was a really bad scream. I'm sorry, Pete. The corpse from above the grocery room, headless and one-handed. Oh. I just don't like it. Animal cruelty. Oh, right. I was supposed to call it there. Haha. -ha. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play The Fall. Later.